Uh, thank you. Uh, I am motivated to make one brief comment in response, and it is only to say that what's motivated me for a lifetime of uh, political and policy work, and I reflect on the first Democratic convention that I ever attended was the Democratic National Convention in 1960 that nominated John F. Kennedy. And I've back, been back to everyone since. But what has motivated my work all of those years, and I think it's the heart and the essence of the Democratic Party, is the conviction that everybody counts, that every voice matters. And that animation is what's meant so much to Democrats that have been in the front of the civil rights revolution, of struggles for women's recognition and equality, for marriage equality, and it's what defines in many ways the Democratic Party. And we need to find our voice in a much more deep-throated way about economic inequality and make sure that we continue that discussion nationally. Well, I intended to, and still will, uh, present my last top 10 list at a convention. It's actually 11, but uh, this one is if politics were a garden, and it's the Republican patch that we're in now. So here is uh, the latest version of the top 10. If politics were a garden, John Boehner would be a lemon, yellow in cutter, bitter in taste, frequently squeezed. <laughs> Mitch McConnell would be a prune. <laughs> Tough, wrinkled, no longer essential to the flow of business. Tim Donnelly, who uh, of course may be the Republican candidate for governor this year, would be a bean sprout, pale white, shoots, no substance. <laughs> if politics were a garden, uh, Chris Christie would be a pumpkin, <laughs> plump, seedy, burned after the tricking and tweeting. Rick Perry, okra, cooked up in the Confederacy, tasteless and seriously slimy. <laughs> Donald Trump might be spaghetti squash, a colorful side dish, little nutritional value, hard to consume unless highly sauced. Newt Gingrich, he might be a dandelion. Delusions of grandeur serves no useful purpose and you can't get rid of the sucker. <laughs> Rush Limbaugh, mushroom, nestled in the dark, mildly hallucinogenic and thrives on bullshit. Number two, Sarah Palin. How about uh, iceberg lettuce, large head, little substance, a short shelf life if not kept in a cold climate. <laughs> and I can see Russia, you know. Ted Cruz, avocado, reptilian exterior, spoils quickly if exposed to sunshine, rocky pit for a heart. And finally, the bonus, California Republicans would be grapes. They come in bunches, hang by a thread, ready for crushing in November. Thank you, Democrats. <laughs>